what's going on wolfpack fam it's your boy kid back at it again some more mickey flanagan from the out out tour um this one is called mood swing in the front garden guys hope you guys are doing well um we gotta hit you guys up with some more um mickey such a great guy man let's check it out let's see what you guys think and alongside of what i think guys let's go because a man's got a decision to make what sort of a woman he's gonna end up with in the sexual arena, it's very varied. Women have got a huge sexual range, because you'll meet a woman, she's fantastic in bed. Do what you like, sort yourself out, son. <laughs> <laughs> but what runs parallel with this, she's fucking mental. <laughs> <laughs> she's prone to attack. Word. She's got her own mood swing in the front garden. You don't know what's going on. You gotta watch them. But you're thick as shit. <laughs> you're a man. You're getting good sex. You start thinking, oh, I'll get myself a stab proof vest. <laughs> Crash helmet. Crash helmet. I'm gonna get one of them taser sticks. Take her up. Get off me, woman. But then you meet a nice one, kind, caring, can't do enough for you. She says, Do you want a sandwich? Do you want a sandwich, babe? Ah, oh, I love those. You don't want a sandwich. Well, when do you want your sandwich? I need me one of those. She's just in bed. She's having none of it. <laughs> don't point that at me. <laughs> Who do you think you are, a porn star? Put it away. <laughs> <laughs> you felt thinking, well, she does make a nice sandwich. <laughs> I like a sandwich. I like sandwiches. I'm going to see a prostitute a couple of times here or something. No prostitute gonna make you one though. And the alcohol thing has changed everything as well because women used to be taken out every now and then. Do you want to come out, babe? You know, <laughs> just sit there laughing at all my stupid jokes. <laughs> you know, she got a few little, uh, I don't know, a Dubonnet or something. <laughs> and the man got tanked up and she had to worry about him. Whereas now, it's gone right the other way. Thank God women have said, you know what, you're getting drunk, I'll fucking show you how to get drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God for it. So you go to a party with a friend there, having a little chat. What's, well, yeah, well, you know, he, said, he got it in the night, the geezer, didn't he? <laughs> Someone comes over and says, God, the wife's had a few, ain't she? <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. There <laughs> <laughs> <Here> we go. <laughs> You walk down the hallway, have a look in the front room. She's off her nut. <laughs> She's dancing up there. Woo! Coming everywhere. It's yeah, a conga. She's trying to get the garden door open. She thinks it's 1972. <laughs> and you go over, you go, do you think you should slow down a bit, love? Shut up. Shut up, baby. I'm enjoying myself. Come and have a dance for me, come on. <laughs> She got all eyes on her in the dance floor. The wine consumption is what's done it. The wine industry have convinced women this is not a drink to enjoy with a meal. No. Start banging away nice and early with this. It's 12% proof. What harm could happen? <laughs> turned up to a party with a can of special brew, questions would be asked. Well, there go. All right, then, Nick. But women, oh, up half seven. Boss, that's your first one. <laughs> Two or three before they leave the house, then they get there. Can't the chug it away. Of bang, bang, here we go. Look sophisticated at half seven. Ooh! <laughs> Gillian's drinking Pinot Noir! <laughs> <laughs> but at half one in the morning, when you're holding her little hand and she's crouched over a drain. Damn. Putting her knickers to one side. <laughs> oh, the women embarrassing like the crowd. <laughs> this is like a Giving camel. Giving you half time. <laughs> What'd you let me drink all that wine for? Couldn't stop you even if I wanted to, babe. Don't me that Pinot Noir. <laughs> what year was it? 1972. It's great, though. It's great that we've got to that point. And you get her home. She gets a second wind. Ooh, come upstairs. Come and sort me out upstairs. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. 
but you go up and you jump on because you're a good man. You go, you go take one for the team, baby. <laughs> and then you hear in the darkness. Oh, shit. I'm going to be sick. Ah, no! Get away from me, woman! It's a dilemma for a man. Get away, woman! You don't have to hurry up or go and get a bowl. You don't know what to do. Shit, the panic mode. Oh, shit, full on, full on panic mode right there. She tell me she gonna get sick. I'm freaking either ducking for cover. Uh, to get away from me, woman. Get the freak away from me, man. But I want to know, serious question, the type of woman that you guys are looking and looking for. For me, she fixes me a sandwich. She's, a, she's already won. A sandwich? Bringing it to me? She's won. She's won my heart. Easy peasy and stuff like that. I'll tell you. I shit you not, a lot of people, uh, they gonna hate me for saying this shit, but in New York, man, there's a lot of women out there that do not know how to cook. They, the, the most cooking they know how to do is microwave. I'm gonna get shitted on for this shit. I'm in trouble right now. They're gonna be come hunting me down. They're gonna be knocking on my freaking door, saying, stop that shit, stop telling lies. But it's all true. I tell you, I went with one girl, man, she didn't know how to cook shit. And I'm old school, old school, you know? You're raised, you know, your mom knows how to cook and throw down. So when I see a girl doesn't know how to cook even some basic shit, I'm like, ah, it's like red flag for me. But um, yeah, if I hear a girl telling me she's going to cook a sandwich, man, I'm all in for that stuff. You want a good girl, she's quiet. But, you know, some guys, as they say, they want, you know, girl from the street, but a freak in the bed, something in the lines of that. Um, when she gets home, it's on. It's freaking on. What I like about Mickey, and as I see him and watch more content of him, he reminds me, uh, not in the same content as, as, as Joey Diaz, but just in the way that he tells his story. Um, from the minute that he opens up, um, you got the beginning, middle, and the end, and it's just really good. I, I like that about him. Um, he has some common ground with my boy Joey Diaz, just, just in the way that they tell stories and stuff like that. You know, it, there's been like that in music where, like, for example, Biggie Smalls, he could just tell a story really well. You you almost, um, he tells a story. You almost forget it's a song. It's the same thing like this with a comedy special um, that he's doing. And he's, so far from a lot of the out-out sketches, they're really good. Really good sketches. Um, eventually, we'll check out and we'll dive into some other stuff that he's done from other tours. Um, we'll like to check some of that. But we got a lot of suggestions based on um, from the Out Out tour. So if you guys want to fill in the blanks for me, if there are other tours that he's done or other sketches that it's not from the Out Out tour, I'd like to see those comments below on that. Um, it's great. He's absolutely great. Uh, Mickey is really um, just that guy that you could just you just want to listen to. So I really like that about Mickey Flanagan. Um, if you guys were to to put him on a scale of one to ten as far as like. Um, Top comedians and stuff for you guys would it be in your top 10 um you know we haven't dived into every single comedian in the uk or you know out there but uh he's he's up there he's really good he's really good so i'm fortunate and thankful for all the massive awesome suggestions you guys do thank you for watching love you guys we'll see you soon peace and love thoughts below like comment subscribe all those things help out the channel tremendously guys so i can't do that without you guys so i'll see you next time peace